Hey, what is up guys? Ryan here for SymmetryTutorials.com and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to simulate phone audio and speaker effects within Adobe Premiere. Now this may be helpful if you're a YouTuber or video editor and you want to simulate a phone call between two people or just a person. And say you have, a, you have person A talking to person B on the phone and you want to simulate uh, a phone audio which you see in movies or funny gags or really whatever and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that today now you can do this in many other programs such as Adobe Edition and even Sony Vegas but today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it in Adobe Premiere now I'm in a little example set up to show you guys the difference between normal audio and the audio with the added effects hi it's Vince with sham wow you'll be saying wow every time you use this towel Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. See, by just adding a few simple audio effects, you can get a really nice sounding uh, phone audio. And uh, it sounds relatively realistic. And you can go as far as by uh, adding noise and grain to give it an extra boost of realism. But the two effects we're going to be using, high pass and low pass, are essentially pretty much already do that for us. And, uh, you know, by, this is just a way of quickly showing you guys how to add phone audio so you can quickly put it into your videos and move on to the next thing. So the first thing we're going to do is going to go over here to our project panel window and we're going to double click to import our video or your audio. It really doesn't matter. You can do it either way. So we're going to search for Sham and we're going to search for the Sham Wow guy and his great product, the Sham Wow. And we're going to drag that down here to our timeline to create a new sequence. Now, as you can see here, it added our video and our audio timeline or our audio file. And uh, if we hit play, hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You can hear we had the both we had the video and the audio, but we only need the audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and we're going to hit unlink. And that's going to unlink the MOV file as well as the audio file so you could separate them and do whatever you want. And that's a helpful way or a helpful tip to uh, when you're video editing because it can help uh, just make things a lot easier for you. So we're hit, gonna hit delete and now we're left with our audio. And so what we're gonna do is if we go down here and hit toggle track, uh, you know, for the audio one layer, we drag it down, you can see we have our audio waveforms here and that's gonna come into play later on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to our effects panel by clicking that little arrow in effects, or you can go up here to window and then effects, which is right here. It's already checked. And what we're gonna do is the first thing effect we're gonna do is the high pass. And as you can see, it's under audio effects and you can either double click on it or you can drag it down here to our timeline. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and go to our effects controls or same thing like the effect, you can go up here to window and then effects controls. So if we click back down here, you can see we have our volume, channel volume, and our high pass effects that we just added. Now it has a cutoff and the hertz of the thing. Now you may be wondering, you know, what is the high pass and you know, what does it do and what's hertz? Well, audio works with frequencies and that frequency is measured in hertz. And you know, the high pass is pretty much setting a cutoff limit of the high parts of the audio. Uh, same thing with the low pass, it's going to be setting a cutoff point for the low frequencies of the low parts of the audio. So just like, um, I guess the best way to show is an audio waveform. I mean, this doesn't show it uh, too good, but if you ever seen the audio waveform, it has, you know, up and downs and it's pretty much just setting a cap limit for those uh, frequencies. So for the high pass, we're going to set it to 850. And if we hit play, you can tell we're already getting that uh, grainy audio feel or phone audio feel, but it's not quite there yet. So let's hit play. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time. And now you get that really, uh, you know, you're starting to get that phone effect. Um, but it's sounding a little too deep and a little too far away and it's also sounding a little bit too clear So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go add a low pass now on the By going up here and typing in low pass and we're gonna drag that down And now this is gonna start adding some of the grain to it and give us that deeper Oldie kind of phone audio feel and we're gonna change the cutoff for the low pass to 5100 Hertz and now if we hit play Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. Now we're starting to get that really nice, uh, deep phone audio feel. And, you know, essentially that's just the quickest way of getting uh, this effect. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. So as you can see, by just adding a few simple effects and adjusting the cutoffs of the frequencies, uh, you can get a really nice, quick sounding effect. Um, but that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. 
um if you guys want me to go over more stuff like this more premiere tutorials or other programs such as photoshop after effects illustrator whatever i can do it leave a suggestion down below i'll take a look at it and if enough people want it i will be sure to do it um, make sure you follow me on Twitter links are in the description also my Instagram my store Facebook all that down below um, If you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, be sure to leave a like I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time